Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share with you a scripture. It is one to two sentences. This is from Ephesians, followed by Pat's Two Cents. This is uh, 2 Corinthians, pardon me, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, th verse 3 and 4. For though we walk in the flesh, let us not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Now, I'm going to say this real quick and then I'm going to I'm going to part my way here. Some of us who are born again Christians have no idea what authority we have. And arguments, debates, and rebuttals are not going to get the job done to bring order. You cannot bring order out of chaos. Only God can do that. Or what seems to be chaos. But this is chaos, what's going on now. So some of you don't need to just pray, Oh Lord, protect so and so, and oh Lord, please bless our country. God bless America. La di da di da. Please make Trump do what we want them, what we want him to do. And Lord, please make this one do what. No. You need to get past all that nonsense because God's the one that'll make your blessings come. What you need to do is take authority over the crap that's going on right now before people get hurt inadvertently. Listen, anger begets strife. Strife begets chaos. Chaos begets lives into dying. I mean, it just gets worse and worse. It's like a snowball effect. First you have a little argument, a little disagreement. Then you end up with an argument. Then you end up with a confrontation. And it just gets worse. It's infectious. It spreads like a blood disease. So this is what I want to say to you. For those of you who know the authority you have in the name of Jesus, and you know the power of the name of Jesus, say prayers like this. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pull down the strongholds of bigotry and racial hatred in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke, I bind the spirits of violence. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirits of murder. In the name of, I mean, just go down the list and pull down every stronghold you think you can. You hear me? Even when it comes to to the leaders of our country, when you see arrogance, pride, intolerance, impulsiveness, whatever it is you see, pull that sucker down. In the name of Jesus, take authority. You hear me? Okay, I'm done with that. You have a nice day as you plan your counterattack on the enemy.